this dream I had was the most unique, uh, different, out of this world affirmation dream. I think sometimes that we do have, and when we see it, we we can't make of it. We don't have full knowledge of it. But when we we wake up from the dream and put it all together, what we saw and and remember, I guess you said remember pieces. I don't know of anyone who's remembered their dream fully. I guess that's on that the other spirit side. Maybe they see us. They don't to those on the spirit side. To them, we're the dream. I don't know. But any. Uh, what you're seeing here with this dream that I had, these are uh, statues, golden statues, and they look like they was going to throw down. These were these were walking in space, these golden statues, as so huge, so massive, like they were over, just your eyesight seeing them. It is literally true when the Bible says, I fainted at the presence of what I saw. I could not understand it. Its height was as tall as the sky. Well, these were in the universe, and they were that tall. And they were walking amongst the stars. And I said, oh, they're about to throw down. They're about to do damage, right? So they're coming at me like, oh, no, Lord, help, help. And then all of a sudden, the whole visage changes. Everything changes. And they turn into some, some kids playing a ball game. I didn't even, I didn't understand that. I was so fearful. I was like, what is this? Um. You know, to complete this, go to the video. You got to hear what happened next. So I'm going to go ahead and um complete this on this video here. So they were, uh, they these big, huge, like you see them walking through space. And at first it was talking, I said, what is this? But it, it did not come to me. It did not come to me a, a thought, but I know a being was there. There was someone there, but the words that he was saying, I'm not going to dare say, I was talking to God. Like, everybody, there was God I was talking to. <laughs> no, I'm scared to say that. I don't want to get in trouble from God. Okay? But it was a heavenly messenger. And what he was saying is, I could hear his words come through my body. It wasn't audible. It, remember, this is a dream now. I saw this in life, so you can't go over don't be saying nothing bad, <laughs> whatever. I'm just telling you, this is a dream now. So I uh, I heard his, this message come through my body. And thank you, Jawan. It was saying, these people, these people in society have their priorities all mixed up. Do you see the, those huge statues, or not statues, but the... the the state stature, and they're kind of, you thought that was going to, and they are important. They're very important. And they wind up, they turn out to be these kids just playing a ball game. But it all starts at that age. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what anyone says. When you're that young, you're impressionable. And no one ever leaves childish things behind. As we grow, whatever good or bad will come into our psyche as adults. And that's how we learn to react and behave to others and how to treat others. And what we allow and how we ourselves are treated. It all starts at that young age. And that's when, if you're rich, if you're poor, if you're professional, white collar, blue collar, whoever you are, that dictates life. So he said, you have your priorities all wrong. You look at people who get big, who have money, who have stature, who have fame, who have all this, they're powerful. They're the ones we look at for inspiration. They're the ones we're going to say, now that, that's, that's who I want to be. But that's not it. You want to strive to be that person when you were younger that you remember, maybe that 
did have that those things, did not have those things. But the main thing you remember that about that person when you were younger is their attitude and the way they reacted and treated everyone. That's the where the real priority lies. That's who what the real importance is. A couple of kids playing a ball game is going to grow up to be what? The most compassionate person that understands, uses tact, uses diversity, inclusion, love, heart, and abounds. And what God tells us to do and wants to do is very best are a monster. And none of that can be determined with what you have. What's determines the seedlings from who you are when you begin. And that's the importance of when I saw those come, those big statues coming that way. That's what the importance, that's who they were. They were very important. And they started from meager existence. Priorities, check it out. That was messed from above. <laughs>